What's good YouTube, Chris here and welcome back to another RPG Maker MV or MZ tutorial video. In today's video we are going to be going over how to make a kill counter, a kind of like stat tracker, keeping track of how many times you've killed a certain monster. And in this tutorial you do not need to install any plugins, so you can do this right now without having to install anything extra, which is super cool. I thought of this idea last night and wanted to give it a test to see if it works, and it works, and I was like, I gotta make a video on this. So here we are right now, and to be honest, I was 10 minutes into recording this video already, and I was recording the wrong monitor. So here we are for the second time, about to break it down for you. So you're going to go to your database at the very top, right up here, and all you need to do for this tutorial is create an item and basically what works here or how it works here is you create the item for this example it says wolf kills this is tracking how many times you've killed a wolf and basically you equip this item to the enemy that it's you know specific to and you make it a hundred percent drop rate and when you kill that enemy in battle it will drop the item and it will be in your inventory and over time it'll just keep stacking and keep keeps track of how many times that you you know you've killed a monster and you could use this for like achievements challenges cool events you know you kill events trying to see who can kill the most monsters and what what amount of time you know you do whatever you want with it but I figured this is kind of a cool little way to do this and you know I'm sure you guys could come up with something useful for it like putting it to use in some cool way so wanted to make this basically these are the two examples I'll go over it like I said you're gonna want to name the item um, the wolf part is just specific to whatever monster you're using but for this tutorial this one says wolf so wolf kills and for the icon you can do whatever you want for the icon description um, you, you can also do whatever you want for this but make sure it's very clear as to like what it does so you earn one wolf kill point for every wolf you've killed in battle. And so consumable item, you don't want that because all we want to be able to do is look at the item in our inventory and just be able to read it, look at it, and be like, nice. And price, I guess you could add a sell price to it if you wanted to make these like, for example, wolf kill tokens and you could trade in your kill tokens for money or something like that so i mean you can mess around with the price however you want make sure it is set to a key item though and then scope since this isn't an item that you can use it's just an item that we want to be able to see set the scope to none and then on the occasion you're going to want to make sure this is on menu screen because like i said this item doesn't do anything except for just us being able to see it and see how many kills we have so we don't want it on the battle screen and we don't want to see it on both the battle screen and the menu screen. We just need it on the menu screen, which makes it so that when we open up our inventory, we can actually see it. So we're going to go with that. You don't got to worry about anything on the right or the left, but that's pretty much it. Same with the goblin kills, same principle. You're going to do this for basically any monster that you have created that you want to track you know how many times you've killed it so you're gonna go into your enemies here we have goblin and we have wolf you're gonna want to equip the goblin kills to you know it doesn't matter which one here out of the three but I just put it at the top and make sure the probability is set to one out of one which would make it a hundred percent drop rate it will always drop this which means it will always track how many times you've killed this because when you kill the goblin in battle the item will drop and then it'll be in your inventory so let's apply that make sure you've made your troops make sure you have put them into the map itself but once you've done all that good stuff you can just go ahead and click play and we'll see this thing in action Zack 
So in that example, I actually used some different gameplay from a different project of mine because, to be honest, that other project just looks a little bit better than this one, but it's the same principle. You make the item, for example, goblin kills, or for that example, bat kills, and then you equip that item to the mob as a drop rate item, set the drop rate to 100%, and then every time you kill that bat, it will drop the bat kills item, which will then go into your key items, into your menu, and you can check how many kills you got and make some cool challenges around that, achievements around it, events around it, you know, stuff like that. You could really make this work in, you know, however way you want, but I just thought it was kind of a cool little thing. I'll give you guys another example here real quick, just so you can see it in action with a few more um, kills in my inventory, or, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Zakuna. But yeah, that pretty much covers it. That's how you make a working kill tracker, stat tracker in RPG Maker, MV, or MZ. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, without using any type of plugins at all. So if you guys end up using this and kind of put your own unique spin on it, or if you use it the exact way that I used it, let me know down in the comment section below. I think it'd be cool to kind of look at your guys' projects in the future. I want to do a showcase of your guys' games. I've been kind of looking on Reddit asking people to you know send me their games and stuff so i'm gonna be doing that soon so if you want to stay stay in the loop hit the subscribe button hit the like button if this helped you out it's very much appreciated but yeah see you guys in the next tutorial video or in my next live stream peace out